up guys okay so I went to Home Depot and I got some shopping done um, I got some like random things but then I got wood so I got my wood for the um, flower bed part project the groundbreaker over there um, and I also got wood for the um, the atmosphere effects living dead portraits video so right here you can see uh, I showed you guys this a few vlogs ago I don't know maybe a month or two ago I got it at West Coast Honors Convention um, and so the way that's gonna work is I'm gonna be playing that onto the uh, wall above the um, fireplace inside the den so I'm gonna go long ways because there are the picture frames there so I want to go long ways so one two three and this piece is gonna be up in the air and uh, below it will be the fireplace, you know, with candlesticks and whatever. So it's going to look cool. Um, and this is also going to be rear projection. So um, as you can see, I was just projecting. And you can only see the Columbia Manor Skull barely. It's not enough to um, trace out where the uh, the three portraits go. So i got to do that project a little bit later when it gets darker tonight. So, um, so I'll do that. Um, but it is going to be rear projected. So... It'll be projected from the egress side of the haunt where my deck is, um, where my where the house side is. So it'll be projected from there, and uh, you know I'm gonna go rear projection. That way, when people are walking through, they're gonna look like, oh man, how is this done? And they're not gonna see it because it's gonna be rear projection, so it doesn't matter. Um, so I'll show you guys how to do that. It's really cool, really easy, um, really easy effect. So, so yeah, I do also have this project as well. You see that tombstone right there. Um, now, God's Flesh showed about, God, maybe a month ago, Mr. Chicken. So, we all know Mr. Chicken. We've all seen a lot of his stuff and vlogs for, for a long time now. And so, um, I had purchased the Mr. Chicken video. Um, and was just not doing it anyway. It just was on my computer. And then, Mark, about a month ago, got it and did his project and put it on YouTube and all that stuff. So, I was like, God damn that guy. Um, anyways, that was going to be a project for me for way later on. But I guess since I'm going to be doing some projection tonight, I might as well do it now. Um, I had this piece just laying around. Um, and so I was just going to uh, wait and do it till later. But I might as well just get it done right now and project. Since I got the projector out and my computer hooked up, I might as well just do it all tonight. Get those two projects cut, shaped, ready to go for later on. So um, you guys have seen that Mr. Chicken video. It's the live tombstone. It's really freaking cool. It's in HD. Um, it's an awesome video and it's, it's not, and it's not that expensive. So, um, you know, go check it out. Mr. Chicken, go check out his channel on YouTube, buy it if you want, but it's, it's a badass video. So I'm going to do that in the front yard and I'm going to hide that projector inside of one of the, t the, um, the, uh, pillars. So, and I'm going to project there. So, so that one's there. Um, other than that, I did get some stuff at Home Depot. First, let me show you my freebie. So first, my freebie is right here. So I got this very cool, I don't know what the hell it is, a vase thingy? I don't know, but it was uh, sitting on the side of the street in a garbage pile. Um, just, um, I don't know, maybe about three blocks down from my house. And um, these people had just a bunch of stuff they were like giving away or throwing away to like one of those donation centers. Well, I grabbed it, they donated it to me. <laughs> So yeah, anyways, I got that. So that'll be cool. That'll look good anywhere in the haunt. It's a cool decorator piece. I don't know where it's going to go yet, but you know what? I'll find somewhere for it. Um, also, at Home Depot, I got some Oops paint. Um, this one was two bucks, and it is a uh, black forever. It's just a uh, paint and primer thingy majigger, deep base coat. I don't know. Um, these ones were cool. So these ones were five bucks each. And the color of this one is Flint Smoke. So I don't know if you can see that gray. Let me switch to the macro mode. All right, so we got a Flint Gray, or Flint Smoke. So it's a cool gray color, and I think that color would be cool for anywhere in the haunt. So um, it's kind of rare with the Oops paints to find, you know, two gallons of the same color. Usually it's just random stuff all over the place. But since there are two gallons of the same color, I'm going to be using a lot of that Flint Gray in the haunt. So, Okay, so let me, um, I already put this together. So you can see this is already put together. So let me, um, God, I gotta wait till it gets darker. I'm gonna go put on, oh yeah, I also got this. Um, I got a outdoor light thing for the, um, there we go. So God, the sun is kind of messing with me right there. So it's just the outdoor um, dual lamp thing. 
Um, so I'm going to go wire this up. I'm going to put it in the backyard. That way I can have the two lights for the entrance. And then um, I'm going to do, um, I'll buy another one of these. And I'll have four lights in the uh, maze. And I'll have these ready to go wired up. I probably won't put the bulbs in yet. Unless I decide to go with, like, party bulbs. And then I'll go ahead and leave them out there, cover them up with something. So, but yeah. So I got to do that. So that's my next project. Is going to go wire these lights up. Um, make sure they work. 75% off summer stuff. And these 10 by 10 gazebos are going to be like $7 each. So, pretty badass. I'm going to buy a few of them. Hey guys, so I just got back from uh, doing a little bit of shopping. Went to back to the Dollar Tree. Uh, I went to Home Depot and CVS. So I want to show you guys this. CVS is having a huge sale right now on all their summer stuff. So we got like coolers and ice bags and barbecue crap and um, all kinds of stuff. But this was the coolest and um, I bought three of them. So they are... 10 by 10 gazebos, um, eight foot height in the, um, like the, the, at the lowest point of the thing, or yeah, at the lowest point of the, of the, of that, whatever. So, um, I thought they'd be perfect for the haunt. So I could put them either above areas of the haunt. Um, I think the sound right there. I think I could put them either above areas of the haunt, above rooms. Um, but I also need a place for all the electronics too. So in case it does rain on Halloween, it hasn't rained in the last three years here on Halloween, but in case it does, I can put all the electronics and computers underneath that, um, but in the, uh, in the egress area, the backstage area where the, where the, um, the deck is and all that stuff. So, um, at worst, you know, they'll use one for there if they don't fit in different areas. So I'll try it out and see, but they were only $7 and 49 cents. So they were 75% off of $30. So pretty freaking awesome. $22 for three 10 by 10 gazebos. So, um, they had one more, but it was open, and I didn't know if it had all the pieces. I was like, screw it, I don't want to buy it, but I want to go check a couple other CVSs and see if they have any. Um, I also got a, a piece of burlap. I actually like this one. Um, this one is, you can see the holes are a little bit more open than the one I have. So I'm going to use these, uh, this, I'm going to try this on the on the ceiling. It's uh, 3 feet by 24 feet. I'm going to try it on the ceiling of the first part of the maze just to see uh, how the light hits it and goes through and all that stuff. So I'm going to try that out. They did price match Lowe's. Lowe's was cheaper, but they price matched them for the $9. So um, other than that, I got some, you know, just some Halloween stuff to put around um, in my garage. I, as you see, my garage has all kinds of, you know, Halloween crap. My There's my big banner, which you can't see, but yeah, you can't see. There's, there's those skeletons and crap like that but I got a bunch more um I got 20 more pieces of the uh ivy so yeah so I'm gonna go put up the other light put up some ivy um try to put that top on and then once the sun goes down hopefully we'll be able to test the lighting out and get a good uh, get a good feel for what it'll look like pretty cool huh so what I did was um, I put up one frame just to kind of show you guys what it looked like. There'll be three three frames right next to each other um, above the fireplace mantel. Um, and the three videos will play off of each other. So um, I marked out, you can see around like the girl right now, you can see the blue line. That's where I need to cut out because I am going to be doing rear projection with this. Um, but yeah, it's going to look sweet. Um, I got to take that frame off, cut the holes, then I'll put the frames back on to cover the holes. And then later on, I'll put the uh, the rear fabric material. It's basically just like a clear plastic, but it's like a frosted um, plastic. I'll show you guys that later. Um, but yeah, pretty sweet, pretty easy project. This thing will be flipped around. So um, what you're looking at now, so this right here will be the top of the of the haunt, um, and these will be turned around like that. So that way, uh, this line right here will be on top of another four foot piece. Um, that will that will be uh, up against the um, the fireplace mantle. So these three pictures are going to go right above the fireplace mantle. So it should look pretty cool. So I know it's awkward going this way, like with the a four by eight piece, but um, they wouldn't fit the other way, like this. So I need to go like this, and so this wall will be two sideways four by eight pieces of of uh, panel wall panel. So looking pretty good. But yeah, so the three matching frames. We'll be on there. It looks good. I'm excited. So I'm going to take that frame off, cut these holes, put the frames back on, and um, show you guys what it looks like. But you won't be able to watch the video. It's the only thing. So um, I'll put the frames on. There'll just be holes there for now because I won't put the fabric on just yet. But it's going to look sweet, guys. Okay, my uh, battery is running low, so I'm going to do this quick. 
but I got the uh, three frames put on. Holes are cut out, so that's perfect. Um, so I'm excited about that one. And then right now, I am doing the. Um, I almost tripped. <laughs> I am doing the uh, card, the um, styrofoam for the uh, Mr. Chicken video. So if you guys haven't seen the Mr. Chicken video, go check out his channel on YouTube. There's also links to uh, where to find this video to download. Um, it's a pretty cool video. I'm actually shooting it onto a black piece of styrofoam, and because it's a white image, it looks friggin' awesome. So I'm not even gonna worry about a different color. I'm just gonna shoot right onto this black. I'll carve it out. Um, as you can see, I got it's too high. Um, so I'll carve it all out so it fits. I'll hide the projector in like one of the pillars, and it's gonna be sweet. So yeah, so that's the Mr. Chicken video. Okay, uh, so that's, I'm going to call it a night with that since the battery is dying on this. Um, I don't know if I'll do, I probably will do some more stuff tonight, but I uh, won't video it because i got to charge this bad boy up. So I will check you guys out later. Oh.